everybody, I am Sacred and a hardly welcome and a good day to you all. I'm Sacred and thank you for joining me in our let's play of Hearts of Iron 4, the great war modification for Hearts of Iron 4. So, let's read the statement of the day. Joseph Joffre said, if the woman in the factory stopped working for 20 minutes, the Allies would lose the war. Well, I don't know if that's true, but there we can see the importance of women for the industry. Well, and whilst we are in 1914, let's get straight into the game. And prepare our invasion of Belgium. And, well, not only the invasion of Belgium, prepare the invasion of, um, well, the Great War, basically, not only a standard invasion. Now we are stockpiling up the material, and the uh, Austro-Hungarians have no troops assigned here, that's quite bad. Oh, you are trained fully, let's stop your training. You are being assigned, you are also fully trained here. No unnecessary training, but if you need it, you will get it. If you don't, yeah, you don't then. You need it. Okay, you need it as well. Do not, do not, do not, do not. In Africa, I doubt that I'll train them at all. I have 89 divisions in Africa, but they are, well, weak. They are of weak divisions, therefore I'm yeah, not that good. Okay, we'll just over attack Luxembourg from three, from four directions to conquer them. Because if we conquer them, we have two more provinces to attack Belgium from and one more province to attack France from. So the French are fortifying their border, they're establishing land forts across the frontier. The German frontier. Vosges. Vosges, yeah. Champagne. I will control the Alsace, Alsace Lorraine. It's under German control. Lesson from T24. A will be sent against the Serbians, against Belgrade. Then, Western Front. Here. Here. Let's say the first Serbian army. First Serbian army. So the first Serbian army. No, no. Erste, ach, erste Österreichische Armee. So first Austrian army because they are operating in Austria, I'd say. They will get a good general here, attack, yeah. Von der Marwitz, von der Marwitz. Then, um, against Romania we need no armies yet. Um, against Italy, yep, against Italy. Yeah. Here. Erste... Let's say it's simply the 15th Army, Army Group uh, Italian. So Army Group Italy. That sounds better, yeah. Leo get general uh, yeah, reconnaissance. I want to give them a war with a forward attack, yeah. Von einem. Von einem, which means by one. So here we go onto the Italian frontier. Just guard against the Italians, they won't be, well, used. Now let's first the front, that will be this, let's say Südfront, yeah, Südfront. Südfront. Southern Front, also the Serbian army will be integrated into the Southern Front. We have 45 divisions there, 22 here, 50 there, 22 there. Here. Um. I'll assign 24 in total to this army, and the rest time will be assigned to the 6th army. Here. Armee Gruppe Frankreich. So, Army Group France. Okay, I have only 3 Field Marshals left. Field Marshal Crown Prince Ruprecht, Ruprecht of Boria. Yeah. Let's stop training. You soon, and you soon as well. Okay. The training is vital and important. Here, okay. Yeah, I need lots of support equipment, but yeah. Surplus of infantry equipment, I see. Here, planes in reserve. How many planes do we have in reserve? 
582 bombers. That's okay. We have kind of the only closer spot up in the air. But our air force is of course supreme to the French one. Yeah, it's supreme already. Our industry is far uh, more than supreme. The Brits are doing the Balkan strategy. Um, okay, beef and Romania. Pressure on other countries. Oh. Uh, we can befriend Bulgaria after the 1st of June 1915. Preparing for war. Yeah, our focus tree isn't before that fully done, but still we'll go against... We'll go to war against, well... The great nations, the Antons, the Antons. Okay, here, B-17. I feel like, yeah, these 40 be assigned to the front against Russia. 40 there. Not only 10, all of you, all of you be assigned to the front. Frontier. Yeah, I wanna ensure a fast victory. A fast and quick victory. So, yeah, I won't do major operations in the French front, although major ones in the, let's say, Russian front. Therefore, I'll only get three Cousins and. Let's say, in total. 12 divisions against Belgium, that will be the Belgium front. This army will go and support the German forces here at this front. Uh, infrastructure is more than upright, so it shouldn't be any problem. Yeah, infrastructure is no problem, so supply of our troops. Not a problem then as well, but I simply hate it how I can't build here. Yeah, okay, find naval dockyard here, naval dockyard there, there. Yeah, let's build one each first. Okay. Our industry is busy, we are fortifying King Dao, as well as these four troops arrive finally in that... Yeah, I'm gonna send them to just hold the line of the important islands. I even, I'm not even aware that I have so many islands here. Reserve Division, I have really too many islands here, that's for sure. I need wood. Let's get it from Austria, Hungary. Three dockyards. I have 20 dockyards in total. They are building dreadnoughts. One building one on. Let's build a protected cruiser then. Okay. Yeah, maximize our industry. Oh, we can't go further at one point simply. Let's yeah, simply <laughs> that. Yeah, maximize that as well as that because we don't have a. That Long of a coastline of viable. Yeah, we can't build other things on the convert industry. But 25th of April. The time for battle is looming in. Let's speed the things up. Fortification engineer. Land fort, coastal fort, anti air. I, I can't build that. So I don't see a use of these. Yeah, well, if it's, of, it's only naval strike. Well, I just go for naval strike. But I'll not need anything right there. Yeah. Planes. Yeah, three planes per day we are getting. Although they are bad, but they are still essential. Let's deploy 200 here into yeah, Krakow. Krakow. Yeah. Let's say fleets of 200 planes. 200 there and 200 in Lemberg. Alright. Our air is being deployed. Our number is rising. But I think I'm gonna hide, yeah. I'm gonna hide my navy in Königsberg. I'm gonna hide it simply, not operate it. Well, the Brits can't bomb my navy anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. Would always, would always. But we are prepared and ready for a, well, for the Great War, I think. Are we? Yes, we are. Yeah, we have a naval base of 10. We can reinforce it. Let's reinforce it with these ships because uh, this region can't afford more. Let's get some destroyers into there. Get 20 destroyers. As well as two battleships. Let's say three battleships, fine. Combine them and you're gonna be sent into the base of Kiel, our main naval base right now. Okay, 96 or 100, great. Okay. Here. Erste Kriegsmarine, K 
Kriegsmarine. You will get a Bless Admiral, Bobber, Spiria Tactician. Erste Kriegsmarine. Great. We are still our supplied. Okay, they aren't. You are too our supplied. You aren't. Let's send you to there. And uh, uh oh, here. We got improved infantry equipment. Let's go for the infantry advances. We can get early motorized. Now let's motorize infantry. That's good. Motorizing infantry is the first stage towards the mechanization of an army. Civilian trucks are uh, really adaptable to military uses of transporting soldiers, towing guns, and carrying equipment and supplies. This greatly increases the strategic mobility of infantry units, which would otherwise rely on marching. We are gonna research it. Okay, our... You are all extended too. Well, let's get the pressure away from you then, let's say. Yeah. Two battleships you lose. Plus two cruisers. That should be enough, I think. Get the pressure out of that plate. Not yet. It is enough. Great. Okay, I can send, let's say, send one battle cruiser and one battleship into Königsberg. Free civilian factories, yeah, everywhere. I can't build any more uh, industry. It's full already. I can build it here. Where can I? Yeah, let's build one there and one there. Yeah. In New Guinea. Prepare for war. Okay, we can go for the Schlieffen plan. We are at May. What's our essential things we need? Boar revolt. Yeah, let's do the boar revolt. Go for that. To confuse Britain. Now we are stockpiling our equipment right now. Yeah. Therefore I'm not gonna uh, build any divisions right now. Okay, these 12, you'll be... We'll just go on training. I guess you are... Hopefully trained yet, you are not well, let's say you are. So where are you? You are... I have 10, 12. Uh, what did I want to do with them? I uh, assign these 12, or well, these... Actually, I don't know. But let's assign them into the army group Zuts. Doesn't make any sense, army group Zuts. Army group uh, Ost. Not, what sort am I saying? Why not? It should be the opposite. Mm, not Zuts, not Zuts. You will stop training and go to the army group of Frankreich. There's still 10 unassigned, so that's no problem. Ah, these 10, yeah, wanted to go against Belgium. The Belgian frontier. Army. Belgium. We got a general, general uh, with a good attack. No, not that it's Marshall with a good attack. Uh, commando attack here. Yeah. Sixth von Armin. And we'll go for. Can we go for anything here? All infantry and motorized. Uh, well, that's a good recovery, right? We'll go for it. Well. Oh, we need to go for this specific entrenchment, yeah. That's more important. Okay, now every single of my divisions are assigned to a bell front. That's nice. But I still need two wood. Let's get extra hungry. Yeah. We need no uh, convoys because we have their land protection all land, therefore not draining any convoys. Yeah, the UK of the British, our army is ready against the British, against the Belgian colonies, against the British possessions in whole Africa. We are ready and steady to fight. Particularly against the Entente, yeah, the Entente, Entente. Well, because we are playing on historical, we are acknowledging the Treaty of Bucharest. Uh, let's see. 
I guess they'll go for the Italian claims and then the war in Europe. They will join the uh, Antons. Oh yeah, they'll join the Antons. Franz Ferdinand is dead. Oh, Franz Ferdinand, the esteemed Arch Archduke of Austria Est. Well, Austria Est. And the Crown Prince of the Austro Hungarian Empire lies dead. His noble wife rests beside him. Franz Josef has lost another heir. And to the damned wild sons of bastards that are Serbians. The Serbian government officially denies involvement with assassin Gavrilo Princip, blaming the Black Hand, though few believe a lack of government involvement. We have sent compensation demands to the Serbians. If they decline, they'll have to pay. Well, <coughs> so here we go. The assassination of the Austro Hungarian Arch Archduke just happened. Well, I will actually finish the episode here a bit earlier because in the next episode we will enter the Great War, so I hope you can understand that. Then uh, thank you all for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Sacred and I'm out and stay tuned for the Great War and see you next time in a historical event.